variations in tongues. And you can intercede in tongues. You can praise in tongues. You can worship in tongues. You can go to warfare in tongues. Hallelujah. And it's not the same tongue that you go to warfare that you use for worship. And it's not the same tongue in worship that you use in intercession. Oh, that's not my ministry. It's not your ministry because you've never yielded to the Holy Spirit. Because I really don't believe that people have gifts just that. That context that Paul is talking about is a church service. Mm -hmm. One of you is given the word of knowledge. One of you is given the working of miracles. One of you is given prophecy. That doesn't mean that that's your gifting and you can build a reputation on it. It means that one service, you prophesy. Next service, God might give you a message in tongues. Next service, you might work some, some healings or something. Uh, it's different, but it's the same Holy Spirit. So the moment that you learn how to kind of flow with the Holy Spirit, go with the flow, then it all begins to make sense. So I have these Bibles. It's better caught than taught. Mm. It was like, you have not because you ask not. And, and if you do ask, you ask wrongly so that you've got something, so that you are seen to be powerful. I didn't ask for that. I just said, God, they fed me really well. Um, <laughs> Uh, they want to know about this painting. I think it's awful. Um, <laughs> what do you say about it? This is what God said to me. Um, it's painted to the Chinese god of suicide. Oh, oh my god. And I'm, oh no. <laughs> Why couldn't you have said it's just an abstract thing? <laughs> so. Then my host looks at me and they say, we know God's spoken to you. What has he said? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to go around it, you know. Uh, do you know the history of the painting? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, we know. It's a very famous painting. It is? Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> come on, tell us. What has God said to you? I said, well... This is what God said to me. It's painted to the Chinese god of suicide. It's dedicated to a deity. And I said, that's very interesting because the man committed suicide in Paris. <laughs> the people who owned it before us all committed suicide. Oh. And it's painted by a Chinaman called Zhao Wuqi. It's a very famous painting. It's worth $100,000. Ah. <laughs> uh, now what do you do? Yeah. Get rid of it. <laughs> Sell it. You put around a thousand dollars worth of painting. That's correct. <laughs> but it was given by the bride's father as a wedding present. <laughs> Lord, just beam me up to heaven. <laughs> I just want to leave this earth right now. <laughs> but you see, I. All joking aside, I really believe that discerning of spirits came because I just asked. And because I'd spoken in tongues for hours and hours and hours, day after day after day, I could now hear God's voice clearly. Every one of us can hear God's, God's voice. voice. Every one of us. There are no second class Christian citizens. Amen. We're all equal. And God wants to take ordinary people and really use them. Everybody. From the children to the oldest, yes. our big problem wants to use them. Samuel. Samuel. It sounds so familiar, he thought it was Eli. Eli said, no, I didn't call you, I didn't call you. It's God calling you. But he calls you in a way that you are comfortable with, that you recognize. Do you want to practice a bit? 
No, I was going to get you to get words of knowledge and pregnancy, raise the dead. Oh, well, you do. You do. Well, close your eyes and tell me whether you see a man or a woman. You see a woman. All right. Um, stick her in an MRI machine or take the skin off her body and just go through and tell me what's happening and then hands it on. And every one of us can do this. Good word. Now, somebody is looking for a word from God. It's going from God's spirit to your spirit and to his spirit. I, want you, I don't know why God wants this, but he wants a message in tongues first, followed by the interpretation. Hmm? I've been wanting to interpret You've been what? That's, that's <laughs> the reason. <laughs> that's the reason. Crazy word. Yeah. That's, 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 right. Now, it's an interpretation, it's not a translation. You have to understand. I can say to somebody, um, I will put a wall of fire around you. Somebody else can say, as a mother hen gathers her chicks and protects them. They're both interpretations, because they mean the same thing. But the language is very different, and the pictures are very different. Mm. But the two pictures mean the same thing. So that if somebody prophesies or if somebody gives an interpretation, other people who are skilled in prophecy can tune into the same realm of the Spirit. They may not get the same picture, but the interpretation will be verified by the picture that you do get. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So she's going to give a message in tongues in a language she's never used before. That's the first thing. Then she's going to flick from that and say something like, and the Lord says, and then just go for it. Okay, well, is it a picture that I will see? I don't know. You might have to make up a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Make up a whole pile of stuff. God makes sure it's right. That's right. We test it. True. So just relax.